let's talk a little bit about the other big news that's going on. Um, of course, today you are expected to vote on a new speaker. What mm -hmm. do you think is going to happen? Um, and what have your thoughts been for the past few weeks with all the speaker chaos in the conference that began with the motion to vacate McCarthy? Um, we were making progress. Uh, it's hard for me to sort of explain this, but um, policy doesn't care about your feelings. And, and and every time I explain this, it hurts someone's feelings, which is lunacy. We were making progress budgetarily um, on so many policy sets. And this is tough. Remember, we, we control the House by just a handful of votes. We don't control the Senate. We don't control the White House. But we were finding some ways to move policy. And then two weeks ago, we blow ourselves up with eight folks voting with all the Democrats to remove um, Speaker McCarthy. And everything's frozen. So now you've gone two weeks with no budget documents moving um, where bad things have happened in the world and we cannot speak with the common voice of a functioning government. This is what this is what happens when people in many ways lead with their feelings instead of a calculator. And so what do you think will happen today? Do you think that Jim Jordan will have the votes to become the speaker and do you support him? Yeah, um, uh, I, I'm going to be somewhat unique from the standpoint of Jim's a personal friend. So for me, this is as much policy as also someone who is a friend. I think um, Jim gets underestimated because he does have one skill set. He knows what he knows and doesn't and, and accepts what he doesn't know. So I do financial. I do Medicare finance, I do trade, I do taxes, I do ways and means, economic stuff. Um, uh, Chairman Jordan does oversight and judiciary. And his office has always been very good when they want an explanation of something that's moving in the debt market. So those things calling us. And we do the same when we're not understanding some. The world's complex. Congress has 435 members. And we all specialize in different things. Building a speakership that understands what they're good at and who to reach out to for others, that's where I'm hopeful. But we'll know, and as we're doing this recording, um, an hour, hour and a half from now, whether um, the votes are on the floor. If they're not, I'm actually not sure where which direction we go. Um, it was a mistake to remove Speaker McCarthy. Um, I hope those folks who cheered it on now, two weeks later, can look back and say, OK, their emotions led them. Now, hopefully their intellect helps them understand it was a stupid thing to do. Now we have to put the pieces back together. Do you think there's any way that Speaker McCarthy comes back if Jim Jordan fails to pass the vote today? There is a model where that could happen. 